Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about my 1996 Toyota Hiace van that I purchased through an auction in mainland Japan. Hi everybody and welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Right now I'm going to talk to you about my 1996 Toyota Hiace van with a 3.0 liter diesel engine. I believe it cranks out a little over 100 horsepower. In the meantime, thank you so much for subscribing and I wish you would subscribe. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. But let's get started. Here is my 1996 Toyota Hiace van in detail. This is not a hood. This is just a piece of panel right here. There's nothing going on here. It's got two normal windshield wipers. It's got just the normal halogen headlights and signal lights. It, there was an option to have fog lights on the bumper, but you'd have to get a whole new bumper. I don't feel like doing that. This side does not have a door. So this is all just, there's only a passenger door on the left side. And I assume that's because we drive on the left side of the road, so it's easier for people to get in and out that way. Living saloon. And they have 15 inch wheels and hubcaps. Let's check out the driver positioning here. All right. We got the updated uh, audio system. So it comes with better speakers here and better speakers under the dash and better speakers in the back. Uh, we have the power window controls, uh, auto windows, a little bit, you know, the handle, soft velour, lock. Here we have where the brake fluid goes. The brake fluid goes right in here, which is kind of odd because you're just looking inside the cab and you're like, hey, now we are sitting on top of the wheel. So it is very Scooby-Doo-ish, but, and then we start it up. It's a diesel. It's a 3000 CC engine. Goes off. There we go. Perfect. And you have your. The weird thing is on these, the signal light is here, and the windshield wipers are here on the stock. So they're backwards here or right, however you want to say it. But in the states, they're flip. You can always tell a new Okinawa driver when their windshield wipers turn on at a light when it's a bright sunny day. You're like, oops, wrong one. It's this one. It's this one here. This is the front passenger cabin. And as you can see, we have the high ace, and this is really key because it rains a lot here in Okinawa. And these little shades provide a lot, deflectors for the wind and rain. So you open up the door, and the door panel you see here, just a little like velour type door panel. You got a little light. Here's the, uh, you know, obviously lock, unlock, a little bit of storage. Here's your window switch, and here's your handle. Uh, what I did is I did put, um, I did put seat covers on this just because I want to preserve it, but I want you to see that the seats are in very good condition. You can see there. Actually, you can't see there because my shadow's in the way, but you can see that the seats are in very good condition all the way around. I put a little padding here for the wife so she'd be comfortable in case she didn't like the seat. And this seat does uh, go forward and back and it does go reclines all the way back. We have a glove box here. So there's where I keep the suntan lotion, towels, sunglasses. Here we have the power mirrors, left, right, mirror. The retract button which basically pushes the mirrors in uh, not a real lot of fancy schmancy stuff going on in the dash right now we have basically a cassette deck that i have not tried because i'm afraid to get a cassette stuck in there and i don't really have a cassette so there's that uh, i've got the rear cooler and ac and the rear heater i've got the regular ac i got the rear defrost the front defrost obviously it's everything normal that you would see here's a little storage space where i put my wallet that it actually a factory cd player uh, would come with that. Now here are the buttons I told you about. These are the curtains. This is the back curtain for the back window. And these operate all the sides. So when you want to close them, you push them down. When you want to open them, you push them up. That's smoky. And uh, what else do we have here? So here we have some storage. Let me move my water bottle out of the way. And this water bottle. So here we have the ashtray because smokers. And then here we have a little bit of storage. It goes pretty deep in there. I keep some antibacterial wipes in here because I have a seven year old and they catch everything at school. So, and then we have a little change holder here and we also have a little chain, now these are American quarters, but and then I have a little change holder there. This is like a business card holder, which is kind of cool. It's like built into the dash and you can just slide it in there. That's where I keep Smokey's picture, okay? And this truck was so new, it only came with 119,000 kilometers, which is about 75,000 miles. I'll put the exact total at the bottom of the screen here. It actually has, it had, factory plastic on everything. You can see factory plastic and it has a little factory mirror. But yeah, plastic on everything from the factory. And here again is another sunroof. So this is sunroof number four. This sunroof just pops up. It does not slide back like the others. So, oh, it's so hot. Right here we have a map light. 
We have, uh, this button is so the door will open, the, when the doors open, the lights will come on. This is another map light. This is for uh, the moon roofs. This control all of them. This is the rear number one, rear number two moon roofs to open them up. So here we have the engine bay. So the engine bay is very easy to see. There's a latch down here. I'll get a close up of that. As you can see here, there's a latch here. And you just undo this. All right, and you bring that one up. Sort of, there we go. Sorry about that. And there, there's another latch here, which is, you lift up this, lift up here, and there's the latch. So then the latch goes up there, you bring it out, somehow, and it's coming, there we go. So the latch is that. Now, the engine, you lift it up, there it is. I should have probably thought this through because I can get that thing sucked into the engine, so. That's the engine, that's putting off some serious heat. It's a 3.0 liter diesel engine Toyota. It's had the timing belt replaced at 100,000 kilometers, which is great, so I don't have to worry about it. And it's not leaking anything, thank God. A cool thing about this van is that the seats actually flip around. Let me show you what I mean. The seats are in really good condition. We bring this forward, then we pull this, and it should turn right around. And it is pretty comfortable in here. So now you can sit here and you can face your friends and you can actually like put a little table in here if you want. This seat does the exact same thing, although it's a little tougher, but let me see if I can do it. There we go, big sunroof here. And it is literally right now about, probably about 91 degrees, so it's super hot. This is an amazing use of space and these seats all fold flat, so you can actually rest in the van if you want to open the sunroof, whatever. Now you'll notice that uh, these curtains here, they are electronically controlled by a button on the front and they just slide back and forth. And I'll show you that on the back. I love, this is my favorite part of the van, the way the, spin, the seats spin, because of the fact that if I have my wife and my son and maybe the dog in here, we can just spin the seats around and have lunch. The dog will eat outside, we'll eat inside. This is a fantastic feature that I love of my high ace. So you've seen the inside, and like I said, it has uh, four sunroofs. You got a big sunroof right here, it's glass. You've got two, one there and one there, and they all have sunshades. So this is sunroof, this is what it looks like looking at the front of the van. You've got your sunroof there, you've got one above the front cabin. And you can see here, let me just show you this way, the sun visor pretty much just shuts it down. It shuts it down. So. Looking pretty good. Oh my God, it's so hot. My favorite feature is the air conditioning. Now you've got a little button here where you can turn the light on. This is an air conditioning unit. It actually cools this area very, very well. I mean, I've got to put it on low because it gets so cold back here. Sorry for all the junk in the front, but I wanted to move it all here so you could see. Here we have normal stuff like, you know, cigarette, ashtray, uh, cigarette lighter. We've got rear heat and air. You got four vents, one, two, three, four here. And you've also got a couple of vents in the floor. I'm not sure if you can see them, but they're right there. So they actually cool the floor as well. The back seat, like I mentioned, is really, really cool. It's uh, pretty spacious back there. And again, that seat does fold uh, all the way down. So sorry, the floor's a little dirty, but this back seat is really, really nice and plush. It also slides forward here. You've got your curtains that are on this little rod here and this little rod there, and they will slide towards me. You've got this nice little, just hanging out put it down there or you can leave it flat. Um, I did have to get a different headrest. I pulled this out of another Toyota uh, to pass inspection. It was missing one headrest. My seat isn't pushed all the way back and you can see I'm 6'1 and you can see the legroom I have, which is pretty insane. I mean, we're, I mean, that's, that's a lot of legroom. Got a little storage back here, a little Velcro pouch. Really, really great looking. And again, you've got your window shade curtain right here and you can see it says, curtain and you just push that one way or the other here's your cigarette ashtray here's some storage on the side there and the curtains will close and it's also got curtains in the back we've got a light here that uh, illuminates when you open the door we've got two reading lights here and then you've got the remote control for the sunroof which actually just lifts it up all right so let's talk about the back I opened it up so you can see there's some pretty good room back here this right here is 16 and a half inches wide so you got about 16 inches here and it's not even on its rear setting. You can see I still have some more to go. So I've got umbrella, I've got beach chairs, I've got this Tampa Bay Lightning jersey. So we've got that, you know, for good luck. You can see the van. I shut all the sunroof so it get a little cooler in here. But there is a lot of room back here. 
Now there is a spare tire and the spare tire is under the vehicle and you just have to lower that bar and the spare tire comes down. They've actually put the jack and everything you need and a nice little handy dandy storage area right here. And then the jack is in there, so it's not a big deal. It's very easy to get to. So this door, you don't have to slam it. You can just shut it uh, very softly and it has an electronic latch. So here we go. And this is 1996. And the door is latched shut. Again, we have the Living Saloon EX stickers. Actually, this van came with stripes down the front. I did have some rear end damage right here when I bought it from the auction uh, at the tail light, and I will show you that right now in this video, and you can see it's a little weird. It, it looks like it had been hit a little bit. The tail light was smashed. I replaced the tail light um, and fixed the bodywork here and here, had it repainted. And then the problem was, obviously, they don't make the stripes anymore. So like when they repainted this, the stripe was gone. The living saloon sticker was taken off. So what I did was I said, you know what? Let's just paint the whole van, get rid of the stripes, put the living saloon sticker on. And I think it's a little cleaner look, a little two-tone old school. How does it drive? It, it doesn't drive bad, actually. I thought a 25-year-old car, 23-year-old car would be, uh, you know, just da -da 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 -da. your fillings come out, your teeth fall out, you know, you, your kidneys hurt. When it's just my son, my wife and I in the van, uh, it rides really comfortable. When it's a full load, it's weird. It rides even better. Is that even a thing? But I just can't get over how much joy and fun it is to ride this thing, especially since you're literally sitting on top of the wheels. So that's kind of it's kind of wild. It's, it's pretty comfortable. You can tell. Uh, you know, I'm not looking at you. I'm actually looking at the road, so I don't want you to think I'm distracted. But it's a. Uh, it's a pretty cool, smooth ride. The diesel hums along. A little, like there's a little bit of cabin noise, but not that much. It's, um, I actually kind of dig it. It's kind of like a really cool, like little growl, and it's not annoying at all. Now, it rides really, really well. These seats are super comfortable. I love the way that the engine sounds when you, when you get on a little bit. It's a little turbo diesel, I love it. It's got a little bit of a growl to it, which I really dig. And uh, you're sitting high up, and the funny thing is that you would think that this truck, it feels big in Japan, you know, it feels ginormous, but in reality, when I bring it back to the States, if I bring it back to the States, it's probably gonna be really tiny because when you park a Prius next to this thing, like a regular Prius, the Prius is almost the same size as this van. And that is just unbelievable considering the amount of room you get in the back. There's the back, it's full of junk, sorry, but there it is. So that's it. That's my 1996 Toyota Hi-Ace van. I like to call it Vantasy because it's my fantasy to have a van. And I, I know that sounds really weird, but Living Saloon EX. Absolutely love this thing. I'm going to do a video on how you can get one in the States as long as you buy one that's 25 years or older. And it's a fairly simple process. I did it here. I had it sent to me in Okinawa so that I can take it back when our tour here is up. Thank you so much for watching everybody in this month. Please, please, please remember if you know anybody in the military, active duty or spouse, give them a hug or a handshake because it is not easy what they do every day, especially the family members. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next video.